Welcome to another edition of Adam Curry Presents. Look at that, the tree, the Santa Claus and them are here. Oh, yes. Look at that. On today's show, we are going to have some great time with the newlyweds. It's a holiday classic episode of the newlywed game from 1973. Oh, we're out of a game of making Whoopi coming up next. Today, we refreshed you on the beaches, on the crowded city streets, in homes, on farms, in restaurants from New York to Florida to Alaska to Iowa. Wherever you are, you're just an ice-cold bottle of Coke away from real refreshment. There's nothing quite like the taste of Coca-Cola, America's number one soft drink. Land, kids get the lookout for Libby Land dinners. It's Libby the Kid. That's Billy the Kid spelled sideways, sort of. I'll spell him sideways. <laughs> Will Libby the Kid deliver the Libby Land dinners? Will the kids ever taste the Safari Supper with two chicken patties? Or the Sundown Supper's Double Beef Patty? And the Nestle's Quick that's in all Libby Land dinners? Hooray! They will! Libby Land dinners are more fun than ever. Try all five. Go ahead, see if I care. Oh, uh, what is it, Crunchberry Beast? Uh-oh, confounded LaFoot. Come back here with those Crunchberries. Never! Captain Crunch with Crunchberries is sweet and tasty with the added of strawberry flavor Crunchberries. <laughs> so just look what I get with every bowl full. Two kinds of flavor, two kinds of crunch, and one Crunchberry Beast. <laughs> Captain Crunch with Crunchberries from Quaker. Eureka! At last, I, Jean Lefoot, the barefoot pirate, have my very own breakfast cereal. Fiddle fool, Lefoot. You haven't had a winner yet. Oh, no? Try this, Captain Crunch. Very well. Hey, this is delicious. It is? I mean, of course it is. It's good. Uh, what's the flavor? Cinnamon toast. It's the flavor of cinnamon toast. So it is. And what do you call this delicious cinnamon crunch cereal? What else? Cinnamon crunch. <laughs> Figures. Well, afoot, this ought to make you quite a hero with the kids. Yeah! A hero? Me? What will my pirate crew say? Lafoot is a fink. I thought that's what they'd say. New cinnamon crunch at your grocer's now. Tisk tisk. How can such a bad guy come up with such a good cereal? Just unlucky, I guess. The Saturday Superstar movie will continue following station identification. Yogi's Gang comes to Saturday morning starting in September on ABC. How do you make a lady shirt? Take an old shirt, take a boring shirt, but how do you make a lady shirt? With a Shirt Zanies kit from Arts and Crafts today. It has just about everything you need to express your own personality on a shirt. Except the shirt. And you don't have to stop at one or two shirts. You can spread the zaniness around. Shirt Zanies, new from Arts and Crafts today. Like it is today at two. This program is brought to you by Maxwell House. Make every day good to the last drop. Girls, how did your husband complete this sentence? He said, if my wife were a machine, she'd be a what machine? It has to be a love machine. A love machine. <laughs> he says it has to be a talking machine. You can always expect the unexpected on the newlywed game. It's Reunion Day on the Lillywed 
And now here's your host, the man of the Little Red Game, Bob Eubank. Welcome to the Reunion Day on the Newlywed Game. Today, once again, we brought back four of your favorite couples to play the Newlywed Game. And maybe this time they'll win a grand prize chosen especially for them. Now, the fun will start right after this message. Stay tuned. Pretty here on Game Show Network, dude. Rock and Roll Jeopardy, Sundays at 7.30 Eastern. Okay, gentlemen, your wives have been secluded safely off stage. Now, you all know how to play the newlywed game, so I'll just briefly remind you that these will be five-point questions, and you'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will. Every time your wife's answer matches your prediction, you'll score five points. Then the couple scoring the most points at the end of our game will win an exciting grand prize chosen especially for them. So let's begin today's newlywed game with your first five-point question. Gentlemen, the last time your wife made a fool of herself, will she say she was at home or away from home? Alan? She was at home. She made a fool of herself at home. Yeah. Okay. I think so. John? I would have to say at home, too. She was at home. Same. Dan? That's easy. She makes a fool of herself all the time. <laughs> but I think more often away from home than home. She was away from home. Michelle? Yeah. Well, I lost a real hard one, but I'm going to try my best. That's all I ask. In Spanish or in English, why do you want it? Oh. I got uh, that, you know, I got that trouble with the language, right? Well. Well, I said that will be in the house, indoors. Oh. At home. At home, right. Yeah. Well, it's not the same thing, you know. Yeah, so I figured. I think Spanish is the same thing. Pardon me? The same thing in Spanish, you know. Oh. Humble house, no matter what, you know, as long as you live in a hole or something. <laughs> but that's, we, well, that's the way we do it in Mexico. Sometimes we don't have no money, we live in a hole, right? Well, I, all I wanted was at home. Oh, away from oh well. Home. Yeah. You got it. Next question. <laughs> Gentlemen, how far will your wife say it is from her left hip to her right hip? when she sits down. How far is it from her left hip to her right hip when she sits down, John? Uh, from her left hip to her right hip. Well, these hip. guys measuring. <laughs> I would say, oh my God, about 18 inches. 18 inches, Dan? I've got a gauge built in and I'm just calculating it. About 20 inches. 20 inches. Michelle? Sorry. <laughs> Are we going in squares or inches? Because she got a big one. <laughs> well, depends how you want it. Well, I don't know her that well, you see. You're going to have to tell us. Well, if it goes in inches, I will make it 16. 16. 16 inches. Now, if it goes in squares, now, that would make a square, you know, you multiply and divide it, whatever you do. It would be two big squares. Two big squares. So, yeah, if it can square, but you know, if yeah. it can inch, it got to be 16 inches. Well, let's I know just go inches this time. Well, she kind of shakes it a little more. So, yeah. But she said, she, Flops Heck, we'll stick with inches. If yeah, don't idea. tell me, but I told you anyway. No, no. My wife's hips have been spreading like a forest fire. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but, but just because I want to sleep tonight, I'm going to say maybe just... She's nothing but hips, but... Uh, 22. 22 inches, all right. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking, all right? Since the day we were married, I think my wife has improved as a what? But lost something as a what? Now, since the day you're married, Dan, you think your wife has improved as a... As a hazel. That's what she calls a housekeeper. As a hazel. But lost something as a... Girlfriend. Girlfriend. All right. Michelle, uh, since you've been married, your wife has has improved as a... Well, 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 she has improved as, as being a... a child. You know, she's now it's getting better now. She was just a little child, now she's getting more mature, you oh, know. Oh, she's in, in, she's, she's no child as... anymore, right? She's very mature, not... you know. She's like a little baby now. Yeah. You know, I have to make her grow up. She's growing up? Well, I have to because I punch her. Oh, oh good. I was to say that. <laughs> okay, she's improved as uh, growing up but, then? But, but, but lost but her, as oh, a... Her housekeeping is... Oh, bad. Oh. <laughs> How... Terrible, huh? Don't mention it. No, I won't. <laughs> Alan? Well, she's, she's improved, improved as a... Well, she's improved as a cook. As a cook, but yeah, lost but something as a... Oh, uh, well. Uh, well, let's just say uh, she's lost something that, like a financial manager. As a financial manager. Yeah. John? I would say she's improved as a cook. Yes, lost something as a... she's lost something as... 
Very a pleased. homemaker. As a homemaker. All right, fine. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite our couples. We'll see how well the husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Work. Okay, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in your laps. Every time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you'll be given five points. And the one couple with the most points at the end of the show will win a grand prize selected just for them. And our couples are back again on reunion day, and it's nice to have you back with us, couples. Girls, question one. The last time you made a fool of yourself, were you away from home or at home? The last time, Karen, you made a fool of yourself, were you away from home or at home? Away from home. You were away from home. Yeah. He said you made a fool of yourself. Top card for me, please. Hang on to the rest of them. Right. Oh, at home, at he home. said. At home. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Jeez, if we go back with the second show, you're still the same way. It doesn't change at all. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's going to be toughy today. What is this thing, goes? You have one on your side there, Michelle. You can... no, don't eat it. Just... <laughs> Judy? I would say away from home. Away from home. He said you made a fool of yourself. Away from home. That's right. Finally, yeah. you got that right for a change. Liz? You remember those... <laughs> I think it's probably at home. It's quite often... At home. But I think it's at home. All right, he said you made a fool of yourself at home. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> at home. At home, he's right at home. Right. 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 <laughs> I'll tell you why. Why? Well, see, she likes to stand in front of the heater, you know. She does and, what? And uh, she likes to stand in front of the heater, get uh -huh. all the heat. And she's been over to pick up something, and she gets right in the butt. <laughs> Three straight marks. Looks brandy. <laughs> I see. That'd make you want to stand a little farther away from the heater, wouldn't it? <laughs> Next question, girls. Tell me. How far is it from your left hip to your right hip when you sit down? How far is it from your left hip to your right hip, Judy, when you sit down? You mean in inches? No. I don't care how you measure it. Yes, I'm in inches. I'm 34, I guess. 34. I he said from your left hip to your right hip when you sit down, it's 20 inches. Not around. Between. <laughs> oh. Remember coming out here east, west, north, oh, south? Yeah. Between. Not around. Liz, how far is it? Exactly. Yeah. 18. 18, he says it's exactly 18 inches. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Renee? If I know Allie, he probably said 50, but I'd say about 20. 20, all right. He said that it's 22 inches. <laughs> now, I'm, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Oh. What was it you said about the forest fire? You would get me in trouble. What did you say? <laughs> I said, your hips spread like a forest fire. All right. <laughs> and they uh, have been. She buy a pair okay, of pants one okay. week and can't get them zipped up the next. Ask him about his stomach. How about your stomach? Uh, I don't have a stomach. It's a muscle. <laughs> oh, it's a muscle. Yeah. All this on sides. I see. see. I need that. Karen? <laughs> too wide and he likes it that I'm not too big so I'd say about 16. 16 inch. he predicted you would say it's 16. Say, you got it. <laughs> now you can buy that one. Here's the last of our five-point questions. Girls, how did your husband complete this sentence? He said, this is your husband talking, since the day we were married I think my wife has improved as a what but lost something as a what. Liz, you've improved as a um, I've improved as a cook. As a cook, but lost something as a... Um, being patient. As being patient, all right. He said you've improved as a cook, but lost something as a homemaker. What? <laughs> Renee, well, what? you've improved. What? I'd say improved as a cook. As a cook, but lost something lost as a... Lost something as a lover. As a lover. Yeah. I... Yeah? Uh, he said you've improved. Yeah, right. As a cook, but lost something as a financial manager. We won't go into that. Oh! We, we just won't go into well, that. Well, that's his fault, not mine. It's his fault. You don't want to work at I'm the bank. I'm not going to take the blame for that. No, okay. So. Karen, you've improved as a... Oh, a housekeeper. I housekeeper, but lost something as a... Uh, being smarter in my with brains. As having brains, all right. Yeah, Michelle said brain. you've improved as a matured person, but lost something as a housekeeper. <laughs> right, uh, you lost the housekeeping. You still didn't learn to clean up the house. You know that. Oh, and no sure. matter how much I teach I've you, learned. Spanish or English, you still don't learn anything. I have a side. No, I don't like that one. I'm getting upset. <laughs> Judy, I you've would... improved as a. 
As a cook. As a cook, but lost something as a... Lover. A lover, all right. He said, you've improved as a Hazel, but lost something as a girlfriend. <laughs> Couples, thank you very much. Seven yeah, questions next. We'll be right back, back with the wife. We'll see how well they predict what their husbands will say on the newlywed game in just a moment. But first, here's that giant of generosity, Johnny Jacobs, with gifts for today's alumni couples. John. Thank you, Bob. For the wives, beautiful eyes will be theirs with Maybelline. Everything they'll need in this beautiful eye makeup wardrobe from Maybelline. And they'll be able to refresh a tired set between shampoos with Sunbeam's Power Mist Dryer Styler Fine Mist Spray. Dries in a hurry, too, from Sunbeam. For the husbands, we have Thomaston shirts for the fashion-conscious man, the season's brightest looks, colorful prints, solids, knits, and no-iron blends from Thomaston. And here's a handsome watch from the famous Beagle Catalog Company. Over 50,000 quality items providing value, selection, and savings. Beagle, Chicago, Illinois. For today's second-place winning couple, here's PhoneMate, the new home appliance that answers your phone when you're home and when you're not. PhoneMate. And now back to the newlywed game and your host, Bob Eubank. Hi, John. Thank you very much. Now, girls, your husbands have been secluded off stage, and now it's your turn to predict how they will answer these ten-point questions. So here we go with question one. Girls, will your husband say he's more romantic in the summer, the winter, the fall, or the spring? Liz? <laughs> winter. It's winter. cold. Okay, Judy? Definitely winter. He's more romantic in the <laughs> winter. Karen? Definitely winter. He's not a summer person at all. Winter also. Renee? I'd say summer. He has more time off. Students, Summer. Yeah. All right. Next question, girls. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. My husband is the only person I've ever heard of who... What? He's the only person you've ever heard of who... What, Karen? Can act really funny. He, does, he imitates things, you know, like being a moon man or being a turkey. That's his new thing. <laughs> so he he's the only make, person you've ever yeah. heard of who can... Oh. Imitate. Make, um. Or whatever you want to say. Uh, make weird imitations. Make weird imitations, all right. Renee? I I say he's the only person that can make me laugh when I don't feel like doing it. Only person <laughs> I, I've ever heard of who can yeah. make me laugh when I don't feel like laughing. Yeah, Liz? That makes me feel weird. Um, he can leave three pairs of shoes on the floor right in front of the shoe rack instead of who putting them on the shoe rack. Who can leave three pairs of shoes on the floor in front of the shoe rack? Right. Judy? Stand on his head on a disc water skiing. Pardon me again? <laughs> he can stand on his head. On a disc water skiing. Stand on his head on a desk? Disc, a disc. A round disc. Oh, a disc. Water, water skiing. skiing. Mm -hmm. He can do that, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right. I know he won't get it. 25-point bonus question. The girls, the last time your husband took a photograph of you, will he say you were or were not alone in the picture? Renee? <laughs> we don't have a camera. <laughs> um, uh, gee, we never take pictures. I'd say alone. Alone, Liz? It would be on our honeymoon, and it would be by myself alone. You were alone, all right. Judy? You mean the last picture we took? The last time your husband took a photograph of you, will he say you were or were not alone oh, in the picture? alone. You were alone. Karen? Uh, not alone. Not alone. All no. right, fine. Ladies, thank you very much for your answers. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the Newlywed Game in just a moment. But first, let's join some members of the young set from former Newlywed Game wedding. <laughs> Stay tuned, game show Saturday. Happy holidays to you from Folgers. All right, now, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. Here's question one. Gentlemen, are you more romantic in the spring, the fall, the summer, or the winter? Dan, are you more romantic in the spring, the fall, the summer, or the winter? Probably the winter. I have a little more time. The winter. She said it's the winter time. Right. <laughs> Congratulations, let's change it. Getting better. Okay, John? I would say the winter also. You'd say the winter time. Also, she said the winter time. Correct. Very good. Alan? Well, I'm going to say summer. Summer. All right, your wife said the summer. <laughs> Michelle? Well, being a hot-blooded man, which I'm very hot-blooded, I think I will move to the winter. The winter. She said it'd be the winter. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, next question for 10 points. Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? This is your wife talking. She said, my husband is the only person I've ever heard of who what? You're the only person she's ever heard of who what? Alan? Only person she's ever heard of that who what? Who? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe she's well, as lazy as I am, I guess. Who is as lazy? All mm -hmm. right. She said, you're the only person she's ever heard of who can make her laugh when she doesn't feel like laughing. <laughs> You know that's right. You every laugh morning, now? I, every morning I wake up laughing. You won't laugh now. <laughs> Michelle, she said you're the you're the only person that she's ever heard of who what? Well, that she ever heard I'm the only best man there is in this whole world that I brag about everything I do, my cooking, who every my about sex, everything, everything I do. She brags about right, sex life. All right, she said you're the only person she's ever heard of who and this, who can make weird imitations. Right. A weird imitation with do my cooking. Do you still do a moon man? Yeah, 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 with my cooking. Let me see your moon man again. No, wait a minute. I don't do the moon man. That's what I said with my cooking. Now well, I want to see you imitate a moon man. Moon man. Okay, here you go. Here we go. <laughs> Are you going to let me finish my question here? Oh, yes, I did. No, wait, the cooking. Wait a minute. I want... She says that you've got a new one. She says you've yeah, got a turkey Yeah, the cooking. That has to do with the cooking. I have to finish my cooking. Yes, I haven't got up far enough yet. Well, can I interrupt your cooking for your turkey? That's for me, my cooking on my turkey. Let I'm gonna, I do my cooking, that's for the new name, because every time I cook it, now I do my new sound. What? With my turkey. Okay, what my is cooking. your turkey? Well, that goes, are you ready? Yeah. When I cook it, when I cook it, I do my turkey sound, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my new sound with my cooking. Every time I cook the turkey, this time for Thanksgiving, I went, Sometimes I get like a dog, but that's because I'm gonna get upset, you know. But that's my question. That's your question. You didn't let me, let me finish. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I have to do with my. I think I just arrived. With my son. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> you forgot the question. So did I. My husband is the only person <laughs> I've ever heard of who what? I never stop going. That's all I can think of. I, I'm Pardon going me? all the time. I never stop. I just can't sit still. Who can never sit still? All right. She said, "Who can stand on his head on a disc while water skiing?" Oh, that's easy. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, a lot what of people do, you know do that. Can do it? I'm going to teach John? Steve to do it. Oh. I think it would be sing as well as I do. Who can she, sing? You yeah, sing well. She, she likes my singing. All right. She said, she, who can oh, wow. uh, Who can leave three pairs of shoes on the floor in front of the shoe rack? Remember? That's cute. Couple, thank you very much for your answers. We'll be back with a big 25-point bonus question to see which couple will win their grand prize in just a moment. But first, let's join some former newlywed game couples enjoying their reception. Stay tuned for more of Game Rocks. All right, gentlemen, here it is, your big 25-point bonus question. This question's worth 25 points. Couple number three, John and Liz, you've got 20 points. You're out in front, but the other couples are close behind with 15 points apiece. So let's see who wins with this big question for 25 points. Gentlemen, the last time you took a photograph of your wife, was she or was she not alone in the picture? Was she or was she not alone in the picture? Ladies, don't hold up the cards until I ask for them. And let's go first to couple number one, Michelle and Karen. You have 15, 25, and give you 40. Michelle, if you get it right, you'll be in first place. Was she or was she not alone when you took that photograph of your wife? When I took her picture? Yes. When I took her picture? Yes. Well, was she alone or was she not alone? Well, the last one just took, just yes. now, a few minutes ago. The last time you took a picture oh. of her? Oh, well... She was alone. She was alone. She said that she was not alone. She was alone. You forgot that? Couple number two. Dan and Judy with 15, 25 would give you 40. Dan? She was alone. She was alone. She said she was alone. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Couple number four, Alan and Lene. You have 15, 25 would give you 40. Alan? She was alone. She was alone. She said she was alone. That's right. <laughs> 
Cover number three, John and Liz, you have 20, 25. We'll give you 45, get it right, and you'll be our grand prize winner today. If you miss it, you go home in third place. She was alone. She was alone. She said she was alone. That's right. John and Liz, you're our grand prize winners today. something special just for you. We know there's some items that would make your lives a lot easier and more pleasant, too. Well, they've arrived on the scene today because the grand prize you've just won is a beautiful, bright, brand new automatic washer and dryer. <laughs> yes, Liz and John from Speed Queen and McGraw Edison Company Division. You won a deluxe washer with stainless steel tub, a durable press and pre soak wash cycle, and automatic bleach dispenser, plus a matching dryer with stainless steel drum and durable press cycle. Both from Speed Queen. But wait, Liz and John, here's something else. You've also won the incinerator that trash the factor that gets any of the weak trash into a neat little carry out bag. Fantastic. From incinerator. And all yours as today's lucky winners of the newlywed game. John and Liz, congratulations to you. We are winners today. And thank you, couples, for coming back to join us on Alumni Day. Get in touch with Game Show Network. Log on to our website and play our games or email us your questions and comments. It's www.gameshownetwork.com. Game Show Network. blank is going on here? What the blank is he doing? What kind of a blank and show is this, anyways? I don't believe this blank. Hey, I know her and him. <laughs> They're blank and hilarious. Oh, get a load of this blank. Holy blank, this is funny. What a great blank and idea for a game show. Match game, you'll laugh your blank off. Weekdays at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, only on Game Show Network. our show for you today and that's our last Adam Kerr presents before Christmas because we got a weekend scrabadanza of fever chats and time warps you're really going to enjoy yep including a boxing day marathon we are going to have I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas after it presents we'll be back until 2024 Merry Christmas from Ab Curry Presents. Good night all.